Trainers, what is going on? Juby here bringing you our week five matchup at the PPL. We got Addison and the London Shockwave coming in hot. And we're going to change it up this week and start with our team on the bottom. Because Walker Vicky Torkel, they're, they're very simple. Let's, let's go over the bottom over here. But let's first take a look what we got going on with Addison's team. We see Dragapult, King Gambit, Lamar is at the Scaler. Gashadon, Gardevoir, Rotomo, Tauros, Tatsugiri, Arcanine, and Go Goat. Pretty solid team overall. Obviously, three and one with the Gardevoir being the complete MVP over there, apparently. So, got our work cut out for us. But let's start with our Esteban over here. The beautiful, beautiful Esteban. Now, what do we got going on here with the Cinderace? Basically, what we got going on is we are going to lead Cinderace. I am tired of leading passively and going like Clodsire or Torkoal or something like that. I want to with a little more oomph, a little more zest, and I want to get some. Uh, uh, pivoting going or like some momentum in my favor. So we're just going to lead in most like a U-turn. Depending on what you got, guys, what your team is, what you might lead with yourself. I don't know what we got going on there. We just got to see what we have going on. But this is our Cinderace. Pyroball, Sucker like Punch, Swords Dance, and U-turn. So Pyroball is obvious, Sucker like Punch in case. But Sucker like Punch is just so freaking obvious, man. Like if I ever ran Dragapult, I would always be running like... I would scout a little bit, probably the first time I switched out, but then once I know for sure if Sucker Punch is confirmed or not, I will probably go sub on that thing, and then sub up against a Sucker Punch user, and then just try to recap from there, you know? So, like, I, I don't like Sucker Punch as an answer for Dragon Pulp, but maybe, just maybe, you say, hey, I'm not gonna deal with it, I'm just not gonna, I, I don't know. So, we, we have Sucker Punch with Dragon Pulp, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, we don't know, we'll see what goes down. Um, but basically, this mod gives us momentum, and I know that he's not that great, because... Um, but just like last week, there are good answers for the Cinderace, but it could do some good damage. This week, we have the Arcana and Taurus right there, both being Intimidate Mons, and the Gashadon being right there as well. The Epa attacks pretty well. Even the Glamora, to a certain extent, man, like, Glamora comes in. But even if we do it Glamora, we could always bring in our Claude Sire and just hit it with the, uh, suck up the spikes and everything and just be fine in that regard. But I want momentum turn one, so we're gonna leave with this. We're gonna go Heavy Duty Boots, and we have enough speed to outspeed your 110 bases and below. And the rest is an HP to make us a little bit bulkier and give us some more longevity. So that is our Esteban this week. Boom! Brute Bonnet! Once again, like I was just saying, I do not like Sucker Punch as an answer for Dragapult. This mod isn't even an answer for Dragapult that I think you might prep. Knowing Sucker Punch will be coming your way with the Dragapult. So we're not even going to bother with that. We're going to run our Brute Bonnet in a completely different way. We are going pure Special Bonnet. Going to get a special attack boost in the sun with a modest nature over here. Giga Drain, Terra Blast, Fire, Earth Power, and Synthesis right here. What does that do? Giga Drain hurts Glabora pretty decently. Obviously smacks Gashadon around. Terra Blast, Fire for the King Gambit. Uh, Earth Power for the King Gambit as well. And the Glamora, obviously. Time Storm Week on the Glamora. Um, Dragapult, we ain't doing nothing too, uh, too much. We have Terra Blast. I mean, we, we have Earth Power for it. But again, this is not an answer for the Dragapult. We're not worried about that. We have Earth Power for Arcanine. We have Giga Drain Tatsugiri. We have Terra Blast Fire for Gogo. -Go. We have Terra Blast Fire for the Rotom Mo. I think a special group bond this week is going to throw a little curveball here. And being Terra Fire is really nice for us as well. And uh, that is why we got our special um, Brute Bonnet over here. Nothing too crazy overall, but Brute Bonnet is going to be a special attacker. And I think it is a good option for us. And Terra Fire is the obvious option, in my opinion, to get around those fire weaknesses. To get around the U-turn uh, weakness. And just to make our bulk a bit better. And the fair weakness as well. So, that's what we got going on there. Yeah, right now we're weak to water a bit. But that's not too hard to traverse over here. Clod Sire, nothing crazy. Physical Wall, Black Sludge, Water Absorb, EQ, Toxic Stealth, Rack, and Recover. Basically, you are just a wall. You're going to be walling King Gambit, Dragapult, uh, unless you go special. I can get me good there. Uh, even the Gash on a little bit, you can be toxic against it because you can't meet with any water attacks. You can talk to get free rocks if I can recover off attacks here. Rotom Mo is a little bit of an issue as well for this thing, but. Again, we're just going to be trying to spread some Toxic here. We can't miss because we're Poison type. Unless that was changed. And like I said, Water Absorb is going to be uh, a great ability for us here. And then we also EQ the Arcanine. We can EQ the Glamora. Uh, we get a Toxic to Zapdos Galar. But that's basically uh, what our Claude Sire does here. So, what is our win con for the week? For me, it is this guy right here. The beautiful, beautiful Skull Willem. Flame, he's making his de season debut. We have enough speed to outspeed Scarfed, um, what was it? 
I think it was Scarf Glamour if we go crazy. What did I do here? I forgot what I did speed wise, but actually, it's about to be everything uh, uh, in the sun, including the Dragapult, obviously. Flamethrower, Giga Drain, Terror Blast, Normal, and Growth. Now, the plan is to force Gashadon in, get a raid, bring this in. Obviously, Gashadon is scared. I get a growth off. I'm at plus two, plus two. Once I'm at plus two in the sun, we're going to take advantage of that. And honestly, everything is pretty much O-code. I was going to go crunch the carry Dragapult. I don't need to. Plus two fire, unless you're like bulky for some reason. Plus two flamethrower in the sun, takes it out. Flamethrower obviously kicks care of King Gambit. Glamora goes out to a plus two Giga Drain. Uh, Zapdos Gala goes to a plus two flamethrower. Gashon obviously dies no matter what. Gardevoir goes out to a plus two flamethrower. It's like a salt fest. Rotomo, obvious. Tauros, obvious. Tatsugiri gets Giga Drains. Dies at plus two. Arcanine. I was going to go stop a Tantrum, but Terror Blast normal just does better. Because he go he comes in, it's Arcanine, Intimidate goes off. I'm at neg I'm at plus one or neg one. Depending if I got the plus two off there. And then um Terror Blast Normal just does more damage there. So Arcanine really can't uh wall me too well. It does 60 something to 80%. So with, I think with the rocks up, it has like a 67 percent chance to kill. I forgot exactly what it was, but if he if Arcanine has damage and his rocks up, takes damage to the rocks, Terror Blast at plus two has a great chance to kill. I think our boy Skull Villain over here is going to be a great bring, and obviously Gogo goes out of Flamethrower as well. This thing can destroy the whole entire team. I just got to get that growth off. We got to force that. Um, even Rotomo we could set up on a little bit. You know, let's run him over his T-Wave. That could really jack us up, but we could set up, get a growth on the switch in, and then we got the speed, and then that's it, baby. Just flamethrower, Giga Drain away for the victory. So that's going to be our go-to plan right there. You are our win con this week. That's what we're going to be going for. Uh, Taka. Nothing crazy here. Actually, it is a little bit crazy. So, Lava Plume, Solar Beam, Earth Power Up, it's been. Probably don't see it right away, but we have speed investment on this bad boy. With our speed investment, we're going to be creeping the Gashadon. So, in case Gashadon comes in, we need to get damage on it. Or maybe Skullblind is not that we can't bring in the Skullblind just yet or whatever it may be. We go for Solar Beam. Ain't going to kill it, but it's going to do a big chunk right there. And it's just sure as we outspeed it. And then, um, the only downside that might be is that if I bring in Torkoal and you bring in the Gashadon at the same, I mean, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The Gashadon at the same time, you rain, it, well, actually, never mind, you're not, you're not you don't have a weather ability. But either way, if you have Rain Dance Gashadon, which it may be, I suspect, right there, that is why I have the Solar Beam. I go Solar Beam first. You take a big chunk. You go Rain Dance. I'm like, haha, I got you there. I can switch out now. But if I switch out, you might go for a recover. But either way, like, that is where the opportunity arises for me to, like, switch out and get a little momentum there kind of thing. Maybe bring in the, get the Brute Bonnet there, get a little Giga Drain action going kind of thing, you know. And now with the Rain being up, um... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. This, this, this is the good of the brain. Never mind. But either way, that's the plan there. Get a, a little speed there for the uh, Gashadon. Obviously, I'll have room for a big burn chance in the sun. And then you also are a physical wall. Like a nice little backup wall for King Gambit. Dragapult, Galar Zapdos, all those shenanigans right there. Uh, Heat Rock, you want the longevity. You got a scroll ball and allow him to sweep and set up as um, and last as long as possible. And then last but not least, we have the usual... Walking Wake, we're going for the speed boost this week, so we can actually Dragapult, but again, if you don't, um, have a scarf on that thing or whatever, uh, uh, we will outspeed it, and then just standard, nothing crazy, Hydro Steam, Dragapult, Flamethrower, Draco Meteor, you know, Chico Meteor for the big chunk if we need, Flamethrower obvious, Dragapult obvious, Hydro Steam obvious, so that is our team for the week, we're gonna hope we get this dub, get us right back in player position, and hopefully have a great freaking game, because last week was a health disaster, and uh, was my best game, so that is that, guys, stay beautiful, stay healthy, stay sexy, and we'll see you for the game, baby.